With the launch of Overwatch 2, new heroes finally started hitting the game on a regular bi-seasonal schedule. As the main draw of Overwatch heroes are among the most sought-after feature release of the game's live service offering it with three new ones a year on the current schedule, this certainly set the community's interest alight. Given how popular they are, players might wonder if more releases could be in the cards during a developer Q&A. The game's the designers talked about the importance of new heroes and if the frequency of releases could be increased. With the launch of Overwatch 2 and the introduction, blah, 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 blah. According to Overwatch 2 executive producer Jared News, Overwatch 2 players are in a group that share a collective want for new characters, but one with different tastes and profiles, all engaging with the game differently. What? What? No way! It really depends on the player you're talking about. Different things generate different buzz for different, different folks. Folks. If I said overall for the player base, I think here's like the heart and soul of Overwatch as a franchise. What? As the team has expressed a desire to be receptive to the audience's appetites, it stands to reason that an increase in hero releases could be one such way to give players more of what they enjoy. While there are no immediate results to report, there appears to be an ongoing internal discussion around the subject as news added. Could we release heroes more frequently than we do? Potentially. It's something we are discussing, but we don't have any concrete plans to announce. Our director, Dion Rogers, echoed the sentiment, stating, I would love to, but it's hard, it's not easy to make an Overwatch hero, and there is a lot that goes into it. It's definitely something we'd love to increase at some point. With Season 6, Overwatch 2 is releasing its newest hero, Ilari, an offensively-minded support hero that expected, that's expected to light up the battlefield the next year by the current schedule, expected to launch in Season 8. According to news, the development team is currently in the planning process for the content release for Calendar for 2024. Until then, we'll have to wait and see what the Overwatch team has in store for the future. Okay, here's my two cents. I think that Blizzard went like this. Ooh, numbers! When we release heroes, more players play the game. Ooh! Yeah. Like, seriously? Maybe they just wanted, waited for some confirmation. This being said, they should not go like, ooh, let's release more heroes, because then we're going to... Heroes will not be as hyped as before. The current cadence is good. The current cadence is definitely good. What they should be looking into is respect and maintain the same way that they're releasing new heroes, the same schedule, the same thought process that goes into releasing the heroes, right? Everything from voice lines to what the hero does to the artwork, everything. Keep it the same. It's good. It's the formula. What they have to do is to stop discussing this internally, in my opinion, just ignore it, move it aside. We're doing this thing perfectly. How can we make it even more perfect? You can't. You got to give time. Otherwise, we're going to get burnt out by how many heroes we're doing. But they have to discuss what are they doing in the seasons when there are no hero releases. This is what we have to do. This is what they have to do, better said, because I'm not Blizzard. What do you do in Season 7? What do you do in Season 9? What do you do in Season 11? What do you do in Season 13? Because the mini events are cool and stuff. But I don't know what they could be coming up with though, during those seasons. When there are, like, no new heroes. That would be huge. I think that be in between seasons, they should be focusing on reworks. Like you said, Sombra rework or Goldhog rework or, like, massive changes. Uh, try out new game modes, even if they're in discussion uh, mode, right? Maps. I don't think, like, chat, let's be honest. Nobody went like, Whoa, we're getting a map in Season 3, let's go! Season 3 was Resident Sleeper, okay. let's be honest with each other. It wasn't that hype. Adding 3 maps would be hype, but that still requires time. I'm not saying that to not add maps. Maybe they have to do a little bit extra. I don't know what it could be. I don't think that maps does it. I don't think that buffs or nerfs does it anyway. Okay, because you have mid-season patches for that. To, for balanced issues. I don't think that it can generate a lot of hype with balanced issues. It can generate hype with reworks or with other incentives. The small events are good. But how do you keep... But you play them like a couple of days, then you're done. What do you do after? You know what do you do after? This is what will be the key to Overwatch's growth. Because I think that they have a lot of players in the seasons in which they release heroes. What do you think? Hey, I'm Olaf. If you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe. Meow.